Hey everyone, welcome back. So if you want to run Windows 11 on your Mac, especially on the new Apple Silicon models, then you are in the right place. Today, I'll show you how you can install Windows 11 on your Mac using the UDM application. It's a great solution, but there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. Please note that this method is exclusive to M-Series MacBooks. So if you have a lower model, you can go with the installation using Bootcamp Assistant, or you can also use Parallels Desktop. I will provide the link to my video in the video description below. So first, let's talk about the limitations of UDM. First is the performance. So since this is the ARM architecture of Windows 11, so you will face slow performance, especially with a graphic intensive application. Secondly, not all the Windows applications are optimized for ARM architecture. So this means you won't be able to use all the applications that are Windows based, especially the ones that are hard -put. And lastly, if we talk about gaming, it's a big no. You won't be able to play high-end graphic games on this virtual machine since GPU emulations are disabled on the UTM. If you want to play games, you can try out Parallels Desktop, which is a paid application to install Windows 11 on your Mac. So that's it. Let's install Windows 11 on your Mac. First, open any browser and search UTM for Mac in the address bar. Click on the first official link of UTM and then click the download button to download the UTM app. Once the app is downloaded, install it. As I have already installed it, so I am skipping this step. Next, click on Launchpad and open the UTM application. Now, click on Create a new virtual machine and scroll down a little bit and you will see Virtualize option and click on it. Now, click on Windows and now click Fetch Latest Windows Install. Now you will be redirected to your browser where you will have to install this Crystal Fetch application from the App Store. Once this app is installed, close the App Store and return to the UTM app. Now again click on Fetch Latest Installer and this time you will see a pop-up from Crystal Fetch app. Select Windows 11 and ARM architecture and click on the download button. So as I have already downloaded the file, so I will skip this downloading process. Under boot ISO file, click browse and select the ISO file that you have just downloaded. Now make sure you have ticked this install drivers and spice tools options and click continue. Keep the hardware settings as default and click continue. Leave the storage settings as defaults again and click continue. Under shared directory, click on the browse and click create a new folder. So basically the contents of this folder will be shared between your macOS and the Windows. So if you want a file from your macOS onto your Windows PC, you can just transfer the file to this folder and it will be available on your Windows as well. So I will showcase this use case later in this video. Now click on continue and here is a summary of your virtual machine. Now let me just change the name to Windows 11 by TechRichard. Once done, click save. Now that your virtual machine setup is complete, it's time to run the VM. To do this, just click on the play button. So you will see this UTM logo on a different screen. Just wait for a while until it says, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. So this is one crucial step that most people miss out. Just make sure when you see this screen, you press the enter on your keyboard so that it boots from the ISO file of Windows 11. Otherwise, it will redirect you to the shell commands. Once you press enter, your setup will begin. Now these are the basic installation steps of Windows 11. You now have to select your language, I'll keep it English and press next. Now select your keyboard settings and press next again. So now, there might be chances that you will not be allowed to proceed further from this step and it will say that your computer is not connected to internet. If you get this, just follow these steps. Just press function, shift and F10 and it will open Windows terminal. Now type this command, oobe slash B Y P A W -S, S N R O and press enter. Now this will restart your VM and will bypass the need of the internet connection to activate Windows. So if you don't face this issue, just click I don't have a product key and move ahead with the installation of Windows 11. Now select the version of your operating system that you want to choose and click next. Now accept the terms and conditions and click accept. Now select the disk where you want to install your Windows 11. By default, it will show you only one drive. So just select it and click next. Now your installation will begin and this might take a while. Until then, you can grab a cup of tea or coffee. So during this time, your VM might start a several times. So you don't have to panic. When the VM restarts on its own, it will ask you to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. This time you don't have to press anything and let the setup continue on its own. 
Once you see this Microsoft login, this means you are in the final stages of your installation. Now select your country and region and click yes. Select your keyboard layout and again click yes. Skip this and move ahead. Now your windows will check for the updates and you can just wait for a while. Now fill in your personal details like your name, the password you want to set for your windows account login and answer these three security questions in case you forget your password. Once completed, you will be logged in to your Windows 11. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Windows 11 on your Mac using the UTM application. So the next step is to install the Spice tools for the hardware compatibility. To do this, open File Manager and go to your primary hard drive and locate this UTM guest tools file. Once located, double click on it to install. So basically, UTM Guest Tools enhance the VM performance by providing optimized drivers, clipboard sharing, and seamless Windows integration and better manageability features. Once the Guest Tools are installed, your VM will restart and you will see that your display resolution is automatically fixed. If not, you can go to Settings, Display, and change your desktop resolution. Now, if you want to move between Mac and Windows, you just need to swipe with three fingers on your trackpad. Just swipe left for the Mac and just swipe right for Windows. The next is the file sharing between both your operating systems. So as I mentioned earlier about a shared folder while setting up your VM, we created a special folder by the name Windows 11 Shared. So let's say you want to copy a file from Mac to Windows. All you have to do is open the same folder on Mac and copy the file there. Now go to your Windows and open your file manager and locate the drive by the name Network Drive. So all the files that you copy on your Mac in the Windows 11 Shared folder will be shown here. So now let's try and install the Chrome browser and Microsoft Office. Just you can follow this video and install MS Office on your Windows and use it. You can also try and install Solitaire and see if it's working. As mentioned previously, you won't be able to run high, F high graphic games on UTM. You can only run games that won't require GPU emulations. As you can see that my Windows is currently not activated. If you want to activate Windows, just follow the steps shown on the screen. You can file all the required files in the video description below. So once everything is complete, you can shut down your Windows 11 by simply clicking on start and clicking shut down again. Once your Windows is shut down, go back to the UTM app and click on the Windows 11 VM and scroll down below. Now click on CD slash DVD and set it to empty. Once you have removed the ISO file, it will not boot into setup again and again. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how you can install Windows 11 on your M series MacBook. If you face any issues, you can drop them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Also, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.